How are you too much viewers subscribers and everybody else the remaining social networks TV6 Dark King and today we are going to start a brand new let's play which video game just came out half an hour ago on Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Now I love Battlestar Galactica. I got the whole series in DVD plus Razor the movie. Not a big fan of Caprica and uh, well, I like how Galactica looked in Blood and Chrome, but that was about it. I mean, I can understand why they didn't use the Blood and Chrome version of Galactica. I mean, that thing was OP as heck. I mean, like what, two to three, two to four times Galactica's guns plus a bunch more can, the smaller cannons. Yes. Anyway, we're going to start the new campaign. And we're going to go Admiral level! Because I seen uh, one or two of the pre-release videos in Commander and that didn't seem like much of a challenge. So, Admiral it is! After Vergon buried their nukes, the leaders of the 12 colonies promised we would never see war of that scale again. <laughs> yeah, Peace right. would reign in our lifetime and the lifetimes of our children. No, they were half right. They could not have predicted the Cylon Rebellion less than 30 years later. The worst conflict in colonial history, and we are at a stalemate. No foothold gained that isn't lost again within weeks. The Jupiter Project was supposed to be our ace in the hole. Oh yeah. The largest, most powerful battle stars ever created. Each of the 12 colonies were promised one in return for signing the Articles of Colonization. Man, I love how the Jupiter class looks. It's almost perfect. As far as uh, what you'd expect a uh, spacefaring battleship to look. The first, Galactica, was Caprica's crowning glory. It went missing two weeks after deployment. Wow, that doesn't bold well. Athena, the fifth ship to be completed, belongs to Pycon. We were days away from delivering it when we heard the news. Pycon's capital cities were devastated by silent assault fleets. Damn! Among them, our own colonial fleet headquarters. There was no Eight base ships and I think those are the carriers. Three of the carriers? Damn! Over kill much? Command of Colonial Fleet has fallen to Rear Admiral Kane. Our mobile shipyard, Daedalus, has become the ad hoc fleet headquarters. As Kane's XO aboard Daedalus, you have been promoted to operations commander of the entire Colonial Fleet. Kane in immediate retaliation for the attack on Pycon. The war room awaits your arrival, Commander. <laughs> Damn. Pycon's battle star is almost ready to deliver, but Sinan says it can't make an independent jump until the fuel lines have stabilized. Kane's orders are to jump Daedalus to Pycon with the battle star Athena attached ASAP. That means we have to clear the scouts here or risk telegraphing our movements to the entire Cylon fleet. I'll prep the deck crews for the jump while you deal with the toasters. Good hunting, Commander. Well, I sounded like a plan. This is a tutorial mission, no? You know, you saw the data was, and anyone who saw the reboot of Battlestar Galactica might have seen something similar. And you'd be right. The data actually becomes Ragnar Station. You know, the place where Galactica goes to resupply in the pilot episode and where the whole civilian fleet meets with the Galactica. Yeah. Yep, that was the one of the most pretty much the most important shipyard. It gets ends up turned into a simple resupply station. Ah, pity. I mean come on, can you think what a couple more Jupiter classes Docked into it would have done for the civilian fleet. They could actually be able to take on the Cylons. Anyway, everything in due time, though. 
Ooh. I can move around. Nice. And I can also expect it. Excellent. Okay. No more Dewey Dally. Let's get to it. With the first tutorial mission. It's time to make our presence known in this war, Commander. I trust you won't need my instruction twice. Tell your ships to move full speed towards the enemy. Okay. Oh. Proceed okay, so that's how it with your works. Commands. Okay, the camera works as advertised. Neat. Can't touch that yet. And it has some of the other ships we were probably going to use, I think. Hmm. The camera speed is a bit slow for my liking. Oh no. If we move in, okay. Well, if that's all I can do, enter. Our ships use fire control systems to automatically target and fire on any hostiles that move within range. Turrets will be less accurate the smaller or further away their target is. Well, you makes can sense. Access a ship's fire control and check on its firing solutions for yourself. Okay. Up. On it, Commander. Since the gun on this one is down, though, if I saw correctly, the Manticore. Yes, it also has a pair of smaller guns at the back. There, you can see them. But we want our bigger guns. Okay, that is an appropriate height. Daedalus, I can click on you. Sure, why not? It makes sense since, well, there's no real, yeah, like I said, the little ones. There's no real range in space after all, if you remember from Mass Effect. Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. After you fire munitions, they will kill someone today. Period. There is nowhere to sound. Well, there is particles, but that hardly counts when you're being accelerated to a fraction of the speed of light. Once you fire it, someone's day is getting ruined. It might be in a week, it might be in 12 trillion years, but someone's day is gonna suck. So yeah, no outbowing it. Okay, we're getting to the front. Nice, nice. IFF sir, confirms we got a new Dreadus contact. <laughs> well, that happened. Dreadus IFF confirms the contact is a silent Corvette. Scanning for further ends. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, like so. Up and go. Ah! There. Okay, focus fire, you. These Cylon Corvettes won't hold up to sustained fire. Focus your turrets on one side to punch through their armor and destroy the hull. These ships also have long-range guided munitions, useful for softening a target before closing in for the kill. Makes sense. Um. Okay, fire missiles. Yes, Commander. Now... <laughs> now let's see. I wish I we could set points like one here, then the re a little more from that point. But hey, no such luck. So up and there we go and fire. I said, get missiles. 
fire. And focus fire on the nemesis. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, good enough distance. And since the nemesis is also going to go forward, they shouldn't stay in each other way, so enter. Missiles incoming! Yes, and missiles going out. Why aren't you firing? Commander, your ships don't seem to be performing as well as they should. Uh, they may have system damage that's been overlooked. Okay, so repair systems. Those ships to hot fix what they can. I'll see to their comprehensive repair once you've finished with your engagement. Okay. What about you? Repair. Okay, well, they're both repairing. Okay, go like so. Go down a bit. Good. I saw it. I told you to fire them missiles. As for you, more slightly. And to attack. Like so. Wait, wait. There. Perfect. Okay. And turn. Manticore is taking damage. Ah, great. Come on, come on. System repairs are complete. Good. Okay, time to divide our fire. Huh, interesting. Okay, you. The rear is gone. The right is... Okay. The front has some damage, but it will hold. It has to. Understood. Okay. Right there. Cancel target and focus fire on that nemesis. Okay, you keep on the chase. No. Right that and Huh. I'm gonna need to get used to these controls. Manticore is taking damage. Okay, the missile should be enough. Okay, that's done. Okay, one bloody 80. Okay, good. And you focus fire on that nemesis to, well, and turn. Okay, the armor is holding. Okay, you, fire well. Okay, slow and steady, you... Not there. There. And... Go. Perfect. How the heck are you hitting my rear? Oh, you're not. You're good. So, you, fire at will. Understood. And 
lower. Perfect. Okay, rear, good, 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 good. Ugh, come on! Repair. Good. Yeah, that's not what. Yes, sir. Okay, right there. Perfect. Okay, repairing. That need repairs. Good. Come on, come on. Yes. All hostile contacts are down. We recorded a vid feed of the battle. If the commander would like to replay the fleet's performance. Sure. Now let's see the replay. I'm looking at the auto camera, so... Let's see, auto cam. Yeah, that's a nice metacore. Nice! And the Manticore is doing what they do best, just dancing around. I don't focus on the attack, so they were a bit slower than usual. Okay, and with that attack and those missiles, that nemesis goes BOOM! Nice! They improved the auto camp from what I saw in the pre-release versions. Well, at least so far, there's plenty more battles to come. But I must admit, I like these shots. Again, the rear munitions hitting, still not quite. Man, he was hitting the boosters, still not enough, though. Boom, okay, acceptable. Proceed. Congratulations, Commander, but we still have work to do. Okay. Kane has got her stomping boots on. Started shelling out orders before she'd even finished sticking the admiral pin to her jacket. She's out to prove she's ready for the tough job of colonial fleet. Can't feel good to earn that promotion off the back of your superior's bad luck. But we've all lost someone in this war, I guess. Indeed we have. My well, sister was you in have. Galactica before it disappeared. Tycon's government is blaming Kane for not delivering Athena earlier. Both she and Sinan won't be happy until we've delivered all 12 of the Jupiters to the colonies. Well, at least we'll get to see Athena clear out some toasters before we hand her over to PyCon. Daedalus is ready to jump on your command, sir. Well, let's jump then. So, like I said, I've never played the game, I just saw a couple people play it early. You know, this... I'd like to be able to do this the same way in battle. I wasn't. That can be problematic. Okay, jump. And proceed.
Okay, Daedalus, stay back. As far as you go, stay with it. Yes. For now. You two are in charge of escorting the Athena, so... Perfect. Let's see. Vap vipers, vipers. I got the missiles, got the missiles. Well, that's all I have, so done. Fleet group is jumping in three, two, one. Bing! Jump complete. <laughs> Dratus contacts bearing 017, Karam 021. Pycon and the rest of the 12 colonies are watching our every move, Commander. Some would see Colonial Fleet fail. Ensure we succeed. No pressure, sir. No pressure at all. Yeah, and we're fighting a war of extermination against a bunch of toasters. Who the heck wants us to fail? On it, Commander. On that note... Uh... Are you stupid? Anyway, you launch and launch. Uh, launch and launch. Uh, okay, they're launched. Okay. And turn. And here come the vipers. Ships are not lifeless assets to needlessly throw at the enemy, Commander. Adjust a ship's posture to tailor the crew's tactics so that you can match whatever opposition you encounter. Um okay. Posture. A defensive posture ensures the ship's defense-oriented subsystems are more efficient. Likewise, an aggressive posture will boost the ship's offensive capabilities at the expense of the ship's defenses. Brace for impact! Okay, cool. Not you. You're fine. I'm talking about the Athena. Boost thrusters. On it, Commander. Okay, you slow down and go up. You... you slow down and up. Okay, defend. Nope, nope. Okay, you. Defend. Okay. You. Defend. Neat. And you. Defend. Okay. Why am I not defending the Athena? Flag. If I need it, it's there. The music could be loud for my taste. Commander, receiving word from Athena's CAG. Their alert vipers are online and ready to return hostilities. Okay, I clicked the button. I already I had already launched everything. Okay. Boosted off. Broadside him. And for those who think broadside isn't uh, exactly necessary since the big bloody guns are on, at the top of the bottom giving them perfect 360 which is an excellent design choice well see those things here these well these are guns too actually turrets see then we have the top ones, which are big, and the problem is accuracy. Very well. They're excellent at hitting base stars, and, uh, you know, the 
really, really big ships with lots of armor, but these smaller guns are better at. But these smaller guns are better at smaller targets. Like the Nemesis here. Wait, the Nemesis, right? Nemesis, yes. And focus fire on that guy. Focus fire on that guy. And focus fire that guy. Perfect. Okay, Mark 1. Uh, select target, neat. Understood. And you, select target, neat. Enter. Oh, they're the big guns. And they're the smaller one. Tearing the nemesis apart. Damn! Use squadrons to hit priority targets or defend any of our own capitals. You can recall a squadron back to its carrier if the situation begins to deteriorate. Okay, up and <sighs> fine. Select target. Okay, it's oh. Okay. No need. Let's fight it. The Jupiter is go is going. The Jupiter and the fighter are going to wreck this. So no real need. But I will do. Oh, the fire is going down. And focus. Okay. Lower it a bit. Focus fire. Okay. Also, yes, commander. Missile delay. Yes, commander. Now, I'm not gonna launch the missiles from uh, the Asina because I'm putting up flak. Uh, I put no, I did not. Okay, on the left. And if I watch the missiles, they're not going to do squat. Which is also why I put the vipers as far away as freaking possible. You. Okay, good. Enter. Well, at the same time, the weapons on the other side are tearing the nemesis apart. Done. That's one. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't like what I'm seeing. You. Focus fire on that jerk. And go down a bit. These guys have a bad tendency of ramming. I don't like that. It's bloody annoying. Okay, there. It's fine. Okay, focus fire is good. You. There. On second thought, you're downing, so. Good. Castle flag. Castle target. Focus fire on that guy. Man, the is getting torn apart. Oh, right. Full attack. Full attack. Full attack. Good. So say we all. Okay. 
Athena. France wrecked. France wrecked. Get me cells. To the nemesis. The faster he goes down, the better. Well, he's getting wrecked. I mean, Commander, I've asked Sinan if there is any way we can stop those Cylon tech ships from hacking our systems, but he's being stubborn. We've yeah. already minimized onboard networking. Your firewall should keep them out for a while. Otherwise, take the subsystem offline for repairs if they cause too much damage. Or you can rely on the tried and tested method of shooting the Cylons down before they get the chance. <laughs> well, the stars are equipped to accommodate flak ammunition. Use this to zone out fighters and incoming munitions. Okay, cancel fuck. Okay, you're done. And you're done. Okay, everybody, select target. Okay, you. Select target. Okay. Understood. You. Any raiders? No. So, go take care of him. So, focus fire, still on. Missiles. One turn. Okay, they're done. That's game. Greatest is cold. All hostile contacts are cleared. If you're finished playing with Python's toy, I believe it's time to hand Athena over to their defense ministry. Ah, must we? Sinan. Commander, there's something else. We're having some difficulty with Daedalus's navigation computers. It'll be easier to explain from the war room. Interesting. Okay, let's view the Athena just wreck the silent. It isn't even funny. Okay, for what I see, they did improve uh, the the auto cam rather considerably since I saw it in the beta versions or the pre-release versions. Yeah, straight into the flag. <laughs> nice. And flag. Good. Okay, that's one nemesis down. And the big guns shooting at the fighters. Sure, why not? And then you can see just a bunch of firepower wrecking the nemesis. That and the missiles. And then, in unison, the two Cylon ships meet their match and BOOM! I like it. Admiral? Commander? We have a problem. The Idris relay that we use to outsource our jump calculations is malfunctioning. Malfunctioning? What's our effect? Great. It's difficult to estimate with just the onboard computers. The red line extends beyond Helios Alpha, but we'd probably need an intermediary jump to get anywhere significant outside of the system. This is what an ambush looks like, Commander. Find us a way back to Helios Gamma immediately. I want Daedalus under the cover of Ragnar's clouds before the Cylons can attack. Commander, we're going to need more ships. Sinan's taken up yards one and two for the Jupiter-class battle stars, and we're only prepped to crunch manticores right now. The floor crews are changing their build priorities as we speak. There's no use having a half-built battle stars if we can't defend them. Indeed. And you saw it here. They can't attack Ragnar. You, if you saw the pilot, you saw the effect that has on the Cylons. It ain't pretty. Okay. okay. Build one more. We've got the Manticore hull underway. 
but let's push its fit out and training schedule forward. We have to. No! The pain! Your brand new Manticore is awaiting your orders, Commander. Okay, you transfer to the Daedalus Battle Group. Confirm. Sir, we suspect a satellite at Caprica Terminal may be the source of the Idris interference affecting our jump distance. I have the briefing packet ready. Colonial Fleet relies heavily on the Idris network. It provides access to accurate real-time locations and trajectory data of interstellar objects. The network is vital to our jump calculations. Without Idris, we can't tell if there's going to be a planet-sized inconvenience at the end of an FTL jump. We believe the Cylons are behind the interference at the Idris network and using the civilians at Caprica Terminal as a human shield. Caprica has granted us operational access to the terminal surrounds. Galactica is still MIA, so there will be no Battlestar to save the day if the Cylons do show up. To Great. recap, we have to destroy every Cylon transmitter we find, restore the Idris relay, and jump back to Ragnar, all without causing a single civilian scratch. Great. That's another day at the office, right, Commander? Well, that's gonna be next time. I mean, really? I still don't have access. Anyway, like I said, that's going to be the mission next time. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of the new let play of Bessa Galactica Deadhawk. Until then, uh, until next time, I'll see you around and hope you enjoyed it. Ta-ta!